Israel is not just a country in the Middle East. It's not just the holiest of holies for Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. And it's not just home to the 5,000 year old city of Jerusalem. It's also a guy. This guy, in fact, and this guy created this knife company, and this guy's knife company created and continues to create some truly magnificent and completely original folding knives. And this particular folding knife from this particular guy's knife company is one of my all-time favorites. This is the Arcane Design Company Crawler, and it has been, up until very recently, one of my most lusted after pieces. I mean, just look at this thing. It's like it's fallen out of the back pocket of an interdimensional space traveler. And it looks that way for a reason. Israel takes a lot of inspiration from sci-fi and pop culture and space travel in general. Right off the bat, this is a full titanium frame lock manufactured by one of the numerous small companies that fall under the umbrella that is Best Tech Knives. We may never know the name of the particular shop that is making these, but whoever they are, they deserve a freaking gold medal and maybe even a raise. Looks wise, like I said, this thing is wild and stunning and beautiful, almost haunting from every single angle. There is no bad side to this thing. Closed up, it's a bit tall and chode-esque in its stature, but it's not exactly a big knife by any means. Stealth bomber, black tip to tail, minus the splash color from the big jagged triangular pivot collar thingy, that big gnarly warning poking up out of the scales, the parallelogram shaped deployment slot. Yes, that's what this shape is called. Look it up that heavy duty aggressive jimping on the blade spine it is a wild looking piece both sides of this knife are spattered with big aggressive chamfered areas sharp points jagged edges everywhere you look and yet it's as soft as a beanie bag baby to touch. The knife is held together by extremely minimal hardware, just the pivot screw and two body screws on each side. The pocket clip is this beautifully sculpted piece of 3D milled titanium, and it's held on by hidden screws driven in from the internal side of the scale. The backspacer is this massive slab of titanium that runs a full 80% of the length of the blade, and altogether it is just a stunningly beautiful, aggressive, and well put together knife. Opened up, we're met with the exact reason I wanted one of these so badly for oh so very long. That textbook M390 Warncliffe does it for me in oh so many friggin' ways. That those jagged stealth bomber chamfers and the sharp angles are carried over from the handles and also adorn the blacked out blade. We've got the Arcane logo stamped on the show side and the crawler emblem on the lock bar side, this wild uh, demon claw, I don't, I don't know. And that is, that is it in the way of markings on this knife, which is always a nice touch. You know, keep the billboarding to a minimum. And if you're going to put it on there, at least make it nice looking. It's just so wild and angry looking. It looks like it wants to take over the world. It looks mean and yet somehow classy, clean and elegant. Opened or closed, this thing is a stunner. Aesthetics, let's just say the aesthetics are off the freaking chain. Now then, moving on to the Ergos, like I said before, this is not a huge knife, but it is most definitely a girthy boy. It fills the hand nicely, we get this faux contoured effect thanks to all those big aggressive chamfered areas. The elevated flats fill the palm, and all of the fingers tuck nicely into place. We do not get anything in the way of a forward finger choil, but you can tuck in nice and tight behind the flipper tab for a really, really comfortable and secure grip. We've got that big gnarly jimping along the blade spine to aid in grippiness during use. Choke back is lovely, tucked in behind the flipper tab feels great. Reverse grips and your tactical overlord death grips, they all feel great. And your good old trusty pinch grip is a dream. As wild and intense as this thing looks, I gotta tell you, it's a dream in the hands. Great ergos. Speaking of big, wild, and intense aspects of this knife, let's talk about that blade, that big, voluptuous Warrencliffe done up in M390. We are working with some decently thick and hardy blade stock, but we're also dealing with a very tall blade. And for those of you that don't know, thick blade stock is just fine as long as you've got a nice tall blade and a nice tall grind. In this case, it is a really nice tall flat grind, and even though I would have preferred a deep hollow on this piece, the final cutting edge is good and thin and absurdly slicey. Straight out of the box, this thing just sings through paper and cardboard and most anything else you'll come across in your day-to-day -day life. 
This being a warning and a darn fine one at that, it does come down to a decently thin and dainty tip, but I'm okay with it and you should be too. I, I just don't drop it tip down on a concrete or tile floors. It's a great blade that looks insane and slices like nobody's business. And finally, let's discuss the action. As I mentioned before, this was OEM'd by Best Tech Knives, i.e. one of Best Tech's numerous machine shops, and good god, did they absolutely nail the action here. We have the flipper tab at the rear, and though it is small, it is more than mighty enough to deploy that blade with a nice satisfying click. It's jimped well, yet not overly aggressive on the fingertips, and overall that flipping action is solid as a rock. And we also have these wild parallelogram shaped deployment slots on the blade that make reverse flicks and thumb flicks an absolute joy. Nice and snappy, insanely satisfying and reliable. And yes, this big meaty warning is running on a set of buttered up ceramic bearings. And on the close, this thing is obnoxiously smooth. Not a full blown guillotine, but nice and drop shutty in the most sensually controlled and luxurious way. I have adored flipping and fidgeting with this thing for hours and hours and hours, and I plan to spend many more hours doing just that for the foreseeable future. One of the most solid and satisfying actions I've ever experienced from Best Tech, period. It's grade A stuff. So where does all of this leave me with the Best Tech Made Arcane Design Co. Crawler blacked out with the brassy bronze accents? Well, I've got to tell you, I've been chasing this thing for a good long time, and I may or may not have paid slightly over retail for it. But at the end of the day, I am totally okay with it. The build quality and over overall fit and finish are out of this world. I, I had actually been telling people this was Rayot made for weeks until someone corrected me on a live stream. It honestly feels that friggin' good. It is one of, if not the best feeling, best performing, best tech made knives I've ever handled. The only thing that comes close in my mind is the production Jason Grant Gripper, which I reviewed a while back. This thing looks incredible. It cuts through most material like it's not even there. It's overbuilt without feeling ridiculous, and it's just a stunning thing to behold. It's simply a beautiful piece of design. A retail, you're looking just under 400 bucks on these, and you can pick one up for 325 to 350. I'll leave links in the description. If you love Warnies and you love this sci-fi outer planets design language, stop shopping. I'm telling you this is the warning for you. So until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye now.